In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up the Blink Outdoor 4. This will include setting up a sync module and a camera using the Blink app on your smartphone. I will also show you some of the basic settings, such as naming your camera and viewing the live feed. As an added bonus, I will also show you how to see the Blink camera on the Echo Show, so make sure you stay to the end of the video to see that. The first thing we need to do is unbox the camera and sync module and see what's inside. So let's do that. So in the box itself, we have a Blink camera, bracket, tool, some screws, and the batteries. We also have a power adapter, some simple instructions, and the sync module. The first thing I'm going to do is set everything aside and set up the app. To do this, go to the App Store and search for Blink. Install the Blink Home Monitor app. Once installed, press Open and create a new account. I'm in the United Kingdom. Enter your email address. You'll then be asked to create a password. It will then send a verification code to your email address. It's now asking to link my Blink and Amazon account, so I'll press agree and continue. Follow the on-screen instructions to link your Amazon account, and when you're done, press done. Now we're in the app, press the plus symbol on the top right hand corner of the screen and the first thing you need to do is connect your sync module, so I'll select that. And it will ask to access the camera. You should now take your sync module and scan the QR code on the back. It will then ask you if you want to create a new system. So I'll press continue. We'll name the system. I'm just gonna call mine home to keep it simple. You should now plug in your sync module. As you can see, it's blinking steady blue and a solid green. So I'm gonna press discover device. Join the network. Allow it to find devices on your networks. You now need to join your Wi-Fi network. So mine's Eero. Enter your Wi-Fi password and press join. It's now updating the firmware. Make sure you leave the sync module plugged in whilst it does this. And the sync module has now been added to my home system. So now we need to set up the camera itself. So again, press the plus symbol. I'm gonna choose my wireless cameras. You now need to take the tool that came with the camera and undo the back. Pop off the back cover and scan the QR code. Before you put the cover back on, put the batteries in. And tighten it back up. I'm now going to press continue and it's looking for my camera. As you can see it's now updating my firmware. It's now being added successfully so I'll press next. It's offered me a free trial to Blink Plus so I'll press OK. To view the camera press the play button. I'm now going to choose somewhere to put the camera. There will do for now. Now let's look at some of the settings and features. Three lines on the bottom right hand corner of a camera. From here you can choose to enable motion or disable it. What this will do is make the camera alert you if it detects motion. If you want to refresh the thumbnail so you can see a picture of what the camera is looking at, press this button. So it's now got the view from where I set it. To arm motion control, just press the arm button. And as you can see, a little symbol with a running man appears. If you press device settings, and go to general settings, you can change the name. So I'm gonna call mine garden camera. It will also show your battery level, firmware version. You can choose to have the LED turned off all the time or have it on when recording. It will also show your connection to the network and the temperature. An important setting to change is motion settings. So you can have motion detection turned on or off. 
You can use spark detection. So you can choose if you want it to view people, vehicles or other motion. You can choose motion sensitivity. So if you're getting too many alerts, you can turn it down. If you're not getting enough alerts, turn it up. What's really important is motion zones. So there might be some areas where you don't want motion to trigger and others you do. To do this, select your activity zones. So if my camera detects motion in any of these zones, it will alert me. If it detects it anywhere else, it won't. You can also select privacy zones. Privacy zones let you block the camera from recording certain areas. You can choose video and photo settings. So you can choose the length of the recording. Obviously the longer you have this, the more battery it will use. You can use video quality. Again, the better quality uses more battery, but it does look better. You can choose night vision to have it on, off or auto. I keep mine on auto. The IR intensity, so that's for night light. You can get the camera to take a photo every hour and auto update the thumbnail. To view any clips the camera's recorded, press clips and any activity will be saved here. Here are three clips when the camera's noticed a person, so me whilst recording this video. So let's have a look. When you're on the clip, you can rewind it, fast forward it and pause it. You can also share the clip by pressing the plain button and choose who you want to share it to. So you could email it, for example. Now, as promised, I'll show you one of my favorite features, which is viewing the camera feed for your Amazon Echo Show. First of all, go to the Alexa app, press the three lines on the bottom of the screen, select skills and games and type blink. Select a blink smart home skill and press enable to use. It will then link your Blink and Alexa accounts. So I'll press agree and continue. It's now searching for my new Blink camera. It's found two devices. So it's found home, which is sync module and garden, which is the camera. So I'm gonna select garden, choose where it is. I'm gonna say it's outside. I know it's inside, but we'll say outside for now. Now that's done, select the light bulb on the bottom of the screen and select the garden camera. First thing you need to do is choose your announcement devices. These are devices that will alert you. And I'm gonna choose my Amazon Echo Show 8 and press back and turn motion announcements on. Now let's see if that's worked. Computer, show me the garden camera. Okay. As you can see, I can now see the camera feed on my Amazon Echo Show. If you press the microphone button, you can talk to the camera. If you press this button here, you can view all your other camera feeds. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please make sure you like and subscribe as it really helps the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.